When it comes to social, what numbers are really more important? Hey everyone, my name is Sylvia and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the numbers you should be paying attention to when looking at analytics, either for yourself or for your clients. So if that's something you're interested in learning more about, just keep on watching. I know it's easy, especially if you're new to social media, to look at all the different numbers in the analytics section and then be just overwhelmed and not knowing how to make sense of all the data. So hopefully this video will shed some light on that topic for you. Now, I want to preface this by saying that the specific numbers you will be looking at, either for yourself or for your clients, will vary a lot depending on your overall business goals and your specific social media goals. For example, if your goal is to grow brand awareness, if your brand is new or you're launching a new product, a new service or a whole entire rebrand, you'll likely be looking at numbers such as reach or reels views, for example. The reason being, you usually want to start by growing a community before you start actually selling to them. And you do that by reaching the most people possible within your target demographic. Now, if your brand is already established, you may be looking at a different goal such as growth. And this can take a whole lot of different formats. For example, you may be looking at growth in followers or growth in engagement. Now, you definitely want to be careful with this goal, especially if the goal for growth is coming from your client. The reason being, you definitely don't just want to grow for the sake of growing. You definitely want to be able to tie that growth goal with a larger business goal. Trust me, this will help you with both creating your social strategy and tracking the analytics down the line. And of course, if you've had a stable growth and you're happy with the size of your audience, the engagement rate that you usually get, you may be looking at conversions. Once again, conversions can take a whole lot of different formats depending on both the CTAs that you use in your posts and once again, your overall business goals. Usually when people talk about conversions, they're talking about website clicks or link clicks in your posts, but this can also look like people sending you DMs. Especially if we're talking Instagram, you probably may want to direct people to DM you. For example, a specific link, because we all know Instagram is kind of limited in linking options. So you may want to direct people to DM you a specific word to get a specific link. I usually do this with my Skillshare classes. For example, I have a class all about Reels, so I usually say DM me the word Reels and I'll send you the link to take the class for free. Or you may want to go a different route in your DM call to actions and actually ask them a question that they can then answer in your DMs. This is perfect if you're looking to do market research, for example, or if you're looking to generate qualified leads. Now, as you recap, the three main goal categories you want to keep in mind when looking at your analytics are one, brand awareness, two, growth, and three, conversions. And if you want to learn how to track all these insights into your very own spreadsheet, I actually created a Skillshare class. And this class not only teaches you how to do it, it also gives you the exact same templates that I use every single month, both for myself and for my clients. I'll have a link down below where you can watch the class and get the templates for free with your very own one month Skillshare premium trial. So go ahead and grab that right now. As always, if you have any questions or any requests, feel free to leave those down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next one. I post every single Friday and I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye.